the ultimate made lab. Ooh, look at this shit, dude. Sign me up for this place. This room gives off an antique vibe. These are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. I remember correctly. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? That is correct. Ever the detective, I see. So, this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kur Kirumi. This even has creepy mannequins. What's this? This is all closets? I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Whoa! Instead, there are a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. Those appliances will pr prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Kirumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Really? Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please, let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will, grant your wishes. I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Raised eyebrow. Oh shit, I haven't been punching everything! Oh my god, I'm a disgrace. I totally forgot about punching the shit out of everything. I guess I can't punch the guy. I can just murder his wife and child. Oh, I can't. <gasps> I punched his head off. Wait, what? Did something just fly back in? That was weird. Those are some powerful cleaning tools. You can get a lot of cleaning done with these. Washing machines. There are a lot of washing machines in here. Something, something. Televisio. Level up. There's a doll at the dining table. Not anymore. Perhaps a family member? This is my research lab. Then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. Probably. Ooh! Get out of here. Punch all the things. Why are you in here, Correcchio? Mm, Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Uh, yeah, me too. Nice. This appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Bringing, being in here brings a tale to my mind. Correcchio closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey, That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. Is that so? Then are you saying I'm like a young, love-struck girl? <laughs> so that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I do. It, he, got, he got the bedroom eyes times infinity, dude. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manners in which they were employed. They were known as the downstairs people, as a stark reminder of their lower station. Goodbye. Dude, look at all this shit we uncovered back here. We got a whole zone. Any Monokuma plushies up here? Doesn't look like it. <gasps> There's another floor! Oh, and that's probably Gonta's lab. Whoa, what is this? Treasure. What is this? A treasure chest? <laughs> Yahoo! We found the treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Shuichi? Huh? Really? I should open it? Uh, yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Shuichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Alright, fine. 
With sweaty palms, neek wheeze, and arm and pockets full of spaghetti, I cautiously opened the chest and huh? What is this? A flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Maybe try turning it on. Hey. No, that's dangerous. I've never turned on anyone in my anything in my life. Huh? Mm, it'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on, Shuichi. It's begging you. Then... Uh, if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well, then. then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight, flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Bye, Wait, I said Neek Wheeze. Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bayonara! Adios. Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. Wait, inspect it? How? Don't ask. It's better if you don't know. Whoops. Now this is a strange door. This must be an ultimate research lab. Based on the design, could it be the ultimate entomologist's lab? It's Gonta's room, y'all. Uh. Oh, look at all these bugs. Insect specimens line the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing. Amazing. This paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself. All right, let's punch shit. What is there to punch? Can I punch these butterflies? No? Bummer. Boom, boom. So much to look at in here, huh? Arranged books. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Jeez. No shit. Bug cave. Wow, that is an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Hmm, lots of larvae and eggs. And they even sleeping in cool place. They were refrigerated? It's okay. Eggs probably hatch if Gonta take good care of them. Well, do your best then. If all these hatch, there'll be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs in a new world, it's like that Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals began... Uh, perhaps that's a little too dramatic. There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow, pretty! Bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks. Got to understand, the person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. Televideo. Amazing. Gonta wonder how many bugs there are. Gonta so excited he get his own special room. Who make this room anyway? Gonta need to say thank you. Huh? Um, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. Huh? What? No way. Monokuma? But no person who likes bug can be bad person. Gone to sad. All right, later, brother. Enjoy your bugs. I gotta go open up some more laboratories. The ultimate laboratory. Wait, can I go up here too? Stairs. It looks like I can go to the third right. floor from here. They're a little scary, but I'll try it. Dang. We opened a whole ton of shit, dude. We got two more rooms up here. We got the tennis room and the child care room, it looks like. And this is all walled off or blocked off, I guess. Any oh, I see you! You can't hide from me, Dragon Wing Monokuma. What's this door? It's an 8 bit door, dude. What's this? It looks like a door, but ah, I see. It's just a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think this is called Pixel Art. 
weird, but okay. I'm down. The child care room. I have no idea what kind of lab this is, though. I should take a look inside as I reached my hand for the doorknob. I did not give you permission to enter. Uh, Maki? So this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. You're right. Goodbye. Oh. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? No. Huh? What? But there's no rule against people going into each other's labs. I don't, know. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? What's going on? Hey, hey what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tiff now, are you? <sighs> See, thanks to you, an annoying brat showed up. Because you hear that, Chuichi? An annoying brat has showed up all because of you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So? so what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your, your lab, Maki? Don't be so pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know. Uh, uh, um, okay, I, I understand. Then... Good, then stay away. If you try to go inside, it would be extremely painful, even for a big guy like you. <laughs> for you, she did the meme! It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy for you. This game, this game is meme, uh, meme knowledge is pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. And then the tennis lab. Based on the design, this might be the ultimate tennis pros lab. What would be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. Holy shit, that's a lot. Yo, look at that machine! Pew pew pew! Pew 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 pew! An entire indoor tennis court? This is impressive. Tennis net, it's stretched tight and looks sturdy. Tight and sturdy. Tell people describe me too. Is there a closet or something in the back? There's a shower room in the back. A shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. You'll be lined up just right when you turn around to face Shuichi. I was just kidding. I, I thought you'd laugh. Did you? Did you? Oh god, I can punch each individual tennis ball. Punching, punching. It's a monitor, blah blah blah. What's up, brother? This is your your lab, right, Ryoma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis? Hey. Ryoma. Ryoma, are you really not going to play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? It's fine if you forgot. That was a long time ago. <laughs> So, when you killed a mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago, too? Wait. Hey, come on, Mew. What was that? What? What? It really happened, yeah? No. Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. Hm. So it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Why are you staring at that tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? Are you a little bitch? Because you're acting like a little bitch right now. What's with the stare down? You're scaring me. Play some tennis, dude. You can't see over the net, but you're probably really fucking good. <laughs> Just do it, man. Don't let your dreams be dreams. All right, down to, uh, what do I have left? The hexagonal crank and the, uh, blah, 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 blah. The ocarina of time. We're unlocking a whole bunch of the laboratories, dude. I hope we can find uh, uh, the dead, dead, uh, dead boys 
Maybe we could infer what his talent was if we find his lab. Hmm. Strange. There are fewer plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. They did say it was under construction. I suppose it's still ongoing. But where exactly is this academy built anyway? No one's come to save us, so it must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex... Where could you build a complex this large and secret? Who's over here? Oh, here's... Is this... Wait, what's this? Mysterious monument. Ocarina? Hell yeah. Yo. That was cool. The vine suddenly withered. The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Ah, oh, we can get in. We can go in from there, right? You intend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. Yeah. No. I don't wanna. No. It's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Huh? Pool? Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. That's right. 24-hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. Oh, wonderful. wonderful explanation. Eh? Huh? Th thank you. Are you stupid. I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going for a swim, are we? But, but if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It is never bad to have too much information. Right. Yes, I suppose you're right. A pool, huh? Hey, look, Tinko, get out of the way. Let me in. Let me in! Ooh! That is a pool. This doesn't look like a normal sport pool. More like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool site like some big shot celebrity. Too bad I don't know how to swim. Then I suppose that dream's pretty far away. Mm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one's even farther. Feels bad. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Hey, let me hit these chairs. Fucking cursor magnetism stop it i just want to punch chairs come on get it get it i can't get those chairs it's impossible can i do it on the mouse yeah because there's no like aim assist on the mouse Easy, baby. Monitor. Oh, pool rules. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find particular. So swimming is prohibited at nighttime. Wait, what are they all? Do not die from a leg cramp. Do not die from slipping. Do not die from choking on your food. That's right. No one's allowed to swim during nighttime. It'd be terrible if someone died to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. And that's that. We need you to die in the killing game. So you can visit the pool at nighttime, but even touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add it to the existing regulations, just in case. Hmm. Anyway, why is the pool's water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What, what the hell are you saying? You gape got gaping holes instead of eyes or something? There's enough water to swim. It only looks shallow because the pool is so deep. Um, and someone would be more likely to drown if we filled it up all the way. And that's that. Wait, that's not how that works. They put a lot of thought into some strange things. Wonderful. wonderful explanation, everyone. Eh? What? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. You stupid. Did you forget that he killed Mana Kid? You should hate his guts. <sighs> Screw Mono Kid. I always hated him. Okay. He was violent. Vulgar, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. Hey. Why'd that sound like a praise near the end? So long, farewell. Okay. Anyway, no swimming at nighttime. That's okay. I wasn't planning on it. There are also some specifications written here. 
The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end, and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. Wow, that's specific. Gym window. Window must be the gym's window. It looks like the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and pool are connected. It's pretty standard for a school to have the gym and the pool near each other. But I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? I don't know. It's a large diving board. This is also something you'd find at a resort. The pool. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. It's deep, but it isn't filled up all the way. Still, plenty of water to swim in. How are you supposed to get back up to the ladder? There's like a couple feet between the top of the water and the bottom of the stairs. This looks like a storage room. I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in here. It is fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way. Perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. Ah, I think you would look like that tire company's mascot. Lull. Okay, bye. Wish I had such detailed answers to my more important questions. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to them. I wonder if the day will ever come when I can swim with everyone. Kibo, I was wondering, if you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or in a pineapple? What? No. No, I believe that before you'd get too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Please stop! Please don't say such scary things, both of you, or I'll never set foot on a boat. Listen up. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits too. Huh? Huh? Are you positive? Yes. Of course, there'd be no point having this pool here otherwise. Well. well, I suppose that's true, but... So where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true. All the closets seem to contain a spare uniform. If there were any swimsuits, I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. <laughs> How scandalous! They're in a place that degenerate males have easy access to. Uh, um, I don't really think that's a problem. <laughs> oh, I get it. Degenerates only care about used swimsuits or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. <sighs> There's still something bothering me. Wait, what did I not look at? Can I go in here? No? What did I not look at? Oh, there's another window up here. This window must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but this window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Gah, anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who would do that? I heard degenerate males get more turned on by girls in swimsuits than by girls who are naked. And they go bonkers over the bloomers that we wear over our panties that we wear over our privates. What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of degenerate males? No. I think you may be overreacting a little. <gasps> oh, Kibo, are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Hmm. Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. Huh? Really? How interesting. I suppose I did just assume Kibo was a he, but Kibo is a robot, so... I suppose this is all for the pool area. I still have other areas to investigate, though. Are you a degenerate male or a girl? Alright. Hexagonal crank. The Avaltaria Luxialia. Let's go. What's up, brother? Whoa. Whoa, it opened so suddenly it freaked me out. Oh, no. But my hunch was right on the money, so that junk was for opening this. All right. All right, let's go inside. What we got in here? Ooh, look at this place. It's popping. Hotel Kuma Sutra. You gotta love hotel, baby. 
Rest, $25. Two guests, two hours. Overnight, $45. Dude, that is a pretty solid price. It's pretty cheap, dude. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. Oh, can I not go in? Bummer. Can't go in the love hotel. Oh, we came down the spiral staircase. Dude, look at the banking on these stairs. I didn't want to go back. I wanted to look at how banked those stairs were. Walking up and down those would be a disaster. Casino. Yo, look at this place. Ooh. What is this place? Is this like a casino? Rise and shine or sign. Rise and shine or sign. Yep, it's a casino. So long, farewell. This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. You can earn lots of mono coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. Yep, yep, you sure can. <laughs> that was wonderfully amateurish, Monodom. It had a flavor not even father could match. That's right. In a sense, you've surpassed daddy, okay. which makes you a grandpa, Monodom. Grandpa Monodom. No boy. A casino? Why is a casino in a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange mono coins for casino coins at the cashier. Once you exchange them, they can't be exchanged back, so know what you're doing. By now, you should be able to see how many coins you have. The coins you've saved up can be exchanged for fabulous prizes at the exchange counter. We're always getting new prizes in, so look forward to it. There are games for you in the basement. Let's play! Wow! What's at the exchange? What are the prizes? I want to look. Oh, I can, uh... Holy shit, I have 500 mono coins right now? Mama Mia! Well, let's get, uh... Let's do that. Premium exchange counter. Wow. Look at these fancy shits you can buy. The ultimate academy bracelet. The mono Jinbei. Oh, you can buy skills, dude. Cool. Creep makes the silencer fire rapidly. Makes the reticle stop shaking. The first letter of Hangman's Gambit will be filled in. <gasps> Ooh, that's worth it. Increases the size of slashes during rebuttal showdowns. Increase maximum focus a lot. Ooh, I need this one. Increase speed of truth bullets. Allows back button to be used to destroy white noise. Makes beats easier to hit during argument armament. Dude, I need the point blank one. Or not, I need the laser beam one, I mean. Ooh, a notebook themes. Shuichi Saihara's theme. Kaita Momota's theme. Flash Magenta. Muse theme. Kaede's theme. Holy shit, Kaede's theme is expensive. 10,000. And Mew is 10,019. What's the... What's that number? About Truth Cylinder Blue. Boys School Badge Collection. Exosol Pink. Wait, was there more pages? Oh no, just presents. There's a lot of presents in here though. A key of love. Dangan werewolf. Is this like the time suck of infinity? Look at all this shit, dude. Treasure Hunter Monolith. It's closed. Salmon Fishing. Slot Machines. Outlaw Run. Yo, let's play Outlaw Run. Out. Run! 
Oh, it's closed? Piss. Got it. Look, Shuichi, Kaito shouted and pointed at a treasure of coins in front of him. Whoa, where did you get that mountain of coins? Huh? I hit the jackpot. I got this much from just one coin. All this from just one coin? That's huh. incredible. <laughs> just a regular day for the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. Wow. Nice work, Maverick. That's some uncanny luck you got there. Whoa, Whoa d don't just jump out like that. Yeah. My bad, I was lured here by your lucky streak. Nice haul you got there. You could really cash in for something splendid. What character is he playing? They're only good here though, but if you earn more, you could reach the best treasure in this in this place. Huh. <laughs> After hearing that, there's no going back for me. But you could trade in what you already have right now. Come on. What are you saying? If I don't meet this challenge, I'm not a true man. Besides, there's no way my intuition as Luminary of the Stars can be wrong. That's, nice. That's it, Maverick! You the man! <laughs> and thus began the sad tale of Kaito's downfall. No! What? Ah, damn it! Not again! What's wrong, Maverick? You're down to half your coins. Wouldn't it be best to walk away now? It's just half! I'm going to get everything back. Just you watch me. Kaito inserted one coin after another, but a win never came. No, Kaito. Damn. This, this is my last coin. Let's go. This is where I'm going to have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. Kaito slid his last coin into the slot and with a determined stare pulled the lever. Uh. Right here. Uh, uh. Your intuition was totally wrong, Kaito. Man, I'm glad I built this casino. Watching suckers lose everything is hilarious. Damn. Damn it, I was set up. If only I'd stopped while I was ahead. You do hear that a lot from people who've gambled away everything. They think they can win just a little bit more and end up destroying themselves. I'm going to quit gambling forever. You can bet on that. That's also typically what these people say.